here. So we got this guy. Um, so first thing, and this is just a little technical note, it would be awesome if you could submit these guys uh, in separate forms. So this would be a quick time. This would be one. This would be one, you know. And actually, in terms of presentation, this is pretty cool. I am fine with these. This front and side like this. So that's cool to see. So I think, you know, just for completion's sake, and it's cool to see from A to B. So I think I would submit it like that. Um, and it's okay. Where's my thing here? So you can bring these movies together. That's fine. And in that way, you know, we can zoom in a bit and it's a bit bigger. But I think that is going to help me a lot in terms of um, looping the whole thing. So just submit that for a walk, but no title cards. Same thing for this. This is cool. Same thing for that. Um, you can have a title card with explanations for a shot like this. That's fine. Just a bit tricky for cycles. So I have to go in there and kind of adjust it. So it's, it might be a more of a rougher, a rougher look at it. I can I can always try. Actually, hold on, I'm gonna pause and try to edit the thing. Hold on. All right, I'm back, which was just a blip on your end. So let me try this. I still prefer a separate file. It just be easier. So I can't, if I watch this on the go or on a different player where I don't have editing tools, uh, I wouldn't be able to really watch it. And this is really cool. Um, this might just be me. It's probably me. Because right now it's not really popped over there. Uh, there's some... Watch out. There's some things in her, her hands here. The spacing wise how much she goes over and then kind of sticks over these two frames here goes over and stops and then moves over and on that way down kind of flattens a bit quickly and then here comes fairly straight at us so that arc is a bit too flat and then suddenly moves to the right and back to the left it's very subtle but it has a slight hitchy bumpy feel I will probably reduce the bounce in the shoulders. So it's the up and down is a bit strong. Not by much, just ever so slightly. And then for your, I would delay the uh, up and down, so the rotation, rotation this way by two frames. There's a slight feeling of it goes up like the body goes up and the head goes down and it's the drag and overlap that's slightly too in sync here with the head goes up and it's done and now the head goes down when the body goes up and it needs to be slightly more overlapped so that when the body goes up it still continues to go down a bit and then does that delayed overlappy feel it's a tiny thing tiny tiny Unless, hold on, I remember your offsetting values. I'm not sure if that goes into the offsetting values. Um, I would definitely do that into your into your main um, what's the word? Your main cycle in there. The asymmetry is fine. That that's uh, an added detail. I can look at at the ends for sure. That's about it though. It's already in a really, really good spot. Looking at her feet. It's great. You got the offset and rotation over this way. This is all usually stuff that people forget to put in there. So that's really, really cool. You already have all that in there. Yeah, those are the only points. Um, if I have been picky, I personally feel um, I was like a bit of a sharper hits on hips so hips wouldn't really go up on this frame just yet there's a little bit of a up you already have I would delay that by two three frames because on that on that step it just hits and I know it kind of buckles 
um, the leg and pushes the hip up, but I will make it much, much smaller and only after here at this point. Then when it goes back, that's when all the weight is on. Imagine your curve. Um, you can have the curve ever so slightly like this where you don't want it linear, but you don't want it splined. You would break those keys and put them at a 45 degree angle so it has an ever so slight bump that happens um, right after the plant. So you kind of feel a bit of a sharper up of the hips. Yeah, that's kind of all I see. The rest is a bit more in terms of how you want your character to be, um, you know, in its, in its overall acting, if you will, even though it's a vanilla walk. I think the side view works really well. I think in the in the front view, I feel like it's she's a bit bouncy. In terms of the left and right, how her arms swing and how much her hips go over and how much her body is left and right, I probably toned that down by like 30, 40%. But then again, it's not that it looks wrong, there's just something about it that just feels a bit, um, yeah, just I think bouncy and swingy is, is kind of the impression that I have. But again, it's not that it's like technically wrong, just the feel. I feel like, hmm, this could be a bit toned down for, for a vanilla walk. And you're adding here a clean cycle onto layers. I know mean, that depends how you prefer to work. Because we at work, we have, you know, imagine this is a controller and that will be in our outliner, we have above it um, like a mocap null and below a secondary null. So we have those built in um, into our rigs. So I would usually, I technically at this point, I put it all into the same controller. I don't want to put too much stuff onto, onto other layers unless it's just a correction. Um, but that's only because if you stop working and you got to give it to someone else, it might be too confusing or you know, take too long to figure the scene out. So I'm simplifying it. Um, but on your end, you can do whatever you want to. You can then at this point put it into the cycle or put it onto a layer. That's totally fine. Alrighty. Okay, so let me go to this guy. Um, actually, let me look at this guy in this view as well. Since you have it. I can look at both ways and see what's better. All right, let's play that and loop. Yeah, it's cool too. Um, I'm gonna go back actually to this view only because it's bigger. So I have a feeling, even though it's cool to see more from A to B, I'm going to use this view here. Alright, first impression is that I think there's a lot of... Oh, whoops, hold on. That's my quick time. I moved the wrong arrows. That's one of the reasons why a separate file would be awesome with... Uh, with uh, there you go. So, it feels like I'm looking at this line here, how much it goes back and forth like that, and I feel it's a bit too much. And you want to kind of keep it more up and down as well. There's a bit too much going forward there. It feels like he's springing forward and something's pulling him back. So it reduce that amount and also keep it more on the the vertical line, not so diagonal. Even for a vanilla walk, this seems a bit strong with his arms. Again, it's not that it's wrong, it's just kind of beyond the vanilla walk. So I'll probably move that arm a bit further back here, and this guy not as much forward. But again, I think in terms of practicing and going through things, I would it's fine. It just seems a bit more than the vanilla walk. But you know, in a way, adding adding character to things is always much more preferred. So main impressions were um, that move like this diagonally. I'll keep it more up and down and tone it down a bit. And the feet go back here. I will probably reduce the ty here. So bring this guy a bit lower. There's more of a drag and it's closer to the ground. 
and you could potentially even through here you know lower and even at this point you can have it slightly more tilted forward and then get into that I think that's an okay translation it just it feels like you want to be at this point again lower and then a bit lower here actually no here it's fine and then down reason being if I go back and forth here you can put a pin here and it really really pivots off of the toes here also just spacing wise it goes forward forward, forward and then stops so you can slow this down as well so that on this frame that the heel would be back there because the thing is by having it so high up here and not draggy here it feels like he's a lot in a in a horizontal position where it's almost a stompy feel. Like he's, he's trying to stomp down on the steps and it could be just a bit more relaxed in the toes. Other than that, you got an outside arc on these guys. I'm a big fan of rotated out like that. Again, some detail that not a lot of people put in. I think the rotation in his chest is a bit much. So see this I go from that straight amount to this amount of curvature and if you loop this boing 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 that makes it a very very bouncy rubbery feel to the chest I'll probably reduce that by half as well a bit more subtle even if you keep it in you know at that extreme and, and how big those arm swings are just that just feels like someone's pushing his chest forward so even if you don't reduce the amount of arms and it's a bit more in that character uh range, I would still reduce that bend in the chest. If you would reduce this, it would also reduce the amount of side to side you have in here. I think that's pretty much it. Just watch out as a picky you know, look at the the spacing of the knees through here it's totally straight towards us then it pops to the left and then it suddenly stops and then goes back to the right so you want to track these and make this a bit smoother if you pick your nose it feels a bit hiccupy and then on his arm it was the same thing where I'm tracking this guy and it goes over and it goes over and it goes over and then kind of stays put and then down Boom. It feels like an invisible wall there. You can also kind of ease into that stop and down just a tad more. Oops, that is me adjusting the curves. But that's pretty much it. Alright, let me adjust my range here. There you go. Yeah, this is a bit tricky. I'm not sure QuickTime can handle that. This would be neat if you could probably resend it. <clears throat> and you just copy paste, copy paste, copy paste for a bit of a longer cycle and just have her. Sometimes with QuickTime when you set your own in and out, uh, it might not work properly. But this should be it technically. But yeah, I don't know, see it's a bit funky. This one definitely needs yeah, I know. If you could resend this one separately and just copy paste a couple of the cycles so it doesn't cycle so quickly. So I know that I've had at least two or three uh, clean loops. But first impression is too fast and too stroby. That sounds like a Fast and Furious movie. Too fast, too stroby. It just feels for the for there's a huge amount of up and down for that amount of of speed. If you're running, this is more like a jump run. I would probably reduce that by half. So that would already take the bounciness out. Let's see if we just really, uh, make this look like that. You know, if you're going, especially going for a generic vanilla run, there's something to the bounciness that's kind of funny in the A to B view. But then it feels like that bounciness is not reflected in her arms so that could be a bit more playful like you feel like there's so much bounce that it's almost <clears throat> something where it would affect her arms a bit more with like a, a, a side arc or just 
not so bent through here. They're almost more swingy and, and happy. You know, where they almost get uh, certain points are out like that, a bit more straight. If you keep that bounce, and if not, like that's just more like a generic pose. But then you got a massive bend here and a huge up and down. It's a, it's a bit of a contradiction there in terms of the presentation and what how we're supposed to feel about her. I don't know if that makes sense. I guess there's a there's a hint of this is going to be a generic run, but at the same time you have such a up and down that kind of takes away from that. It gets into into character land. And even how much you rotate that chest towards us, but then it doesn't feel like the hips are are towards that leg, you know. So I would re um, reduce the rotation you have in Y, but then add more rotation <clears throat> in the hips in Y this way, so that at this point we might see more, you know, part of that butt cheek, and then the other one is here. If you're going that far. Yeah, it's kind of hard to see. If you would go that much with the up and down, then I would also add a bit more drag and overlap on the head. Not that it has to be crazy overlapping bouncy, but something that really takes into account that there is so much force that goes up and down. It doesn't really have that. And also be careful with how much forward and back momentum you have looking at that line of the head. How much it pops back here. It just adds to that overall poppy bounciness. Let me just explore up to this here. It seems better. It's not as poppy, but it has the same feeling of how much forward you go and back has a nice circle there, you know, in terms of when you arc, but the moment you do something forward and back in a stationary cycle, unless you did it in A to B and then that's the camera view, but even even in the side view, let me go back here, my editing pointer, and, 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 there you go. So if I'm looking at the A to B, there's, there's a moment of what kind of stops, and then shoots forward and stops and shoots forward. It's subtle here, and it's it's a thing that anytime you have something that goes so much forward that's not driven by the root, it adds a bit of a, a bounciness and a weird stop and go in your side view. So to me, it's a bit too much, too much of that. It's subtle, and it's mostly when you play it in real time. Watch out, spacing wise, this one's a bit funky. It goes to the right, stops a bit, and it goes to the right, stops a bit, goes to the left. Those little pauses you have in there. This is cool though. Again, I would probably reduce it just a tiny bit. Meaning like how much you curve out into the left and right here. I think his hips are just a bit too strong. Especially on a run, it's not going to be... If it's bouncy and jumpy, <coughs> excuse me, it will be okay. But if you're running, the faster you run, the less you're going to have left and right and up and down. It's going to start to be a lot more straight. Nothing for the amount of speed. It is, it's just a bit much with the front and back and the side to side. Probably reduce that. That's about it though. It's pretty cool. Alright, so let me just look at this guy like that. Alright. Yeah, well, can I come anyway? No! Can I? No! 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 Hey, you owe me! Oh, well, can I come anyway? No! Can I? No! That's cute. No. Uh, first impression. What is going on in his feet? There's a lot of. A lot of movement in there. Hold on, let me take your notes. Um, Lipsing past, try to dress the over overview about toning down the bounces when he lands, which I think was good. Maybe 10%, 20% more, but 
it's pretty good. Uh, arms and body. All right. Oh no! Hey, you only. There's something slightly, slightly dirty in the feet. How much, especially through here, it almost gets into mocap territory where it feels like there's so many keys and there's so much going on in the feet here. So much movement. It kind of pops here, like goes up and immediately comes down. There's something a bit too much in that. I'll clean up those keys just a tad. Yeah, even through here on this, how much it goes up and down. This is feels slightly dirty. As in just like, so much money so many keys. And then watch out you got your uh, pop in your IK leg. It kinda overstretches at this point. Yeah, something at the end. I'm looking just at the feet. They're a bit dirty in the keys. Especially at the end, so it's a slight little thing at the end here. You watch, see how it kind of pops up and then goes to the right. There's like one dead frame here. So watch out the feet. It needs a bit more clean up there. I still feel it's a bit bouncy. It's not crazy though, let's watch the whole thing here. Just a bit, it still feels bouncy, yeah. So, you know, by that, it would just be not as much recovery. Like, you can reduce how much he bends just by 20% and how much he goes up by 20%. So there's not... I'm looking at mainly that difference, how much he goes up and down and how much bendage... That's a word. <laughs> how much he bends in the body here. And... Boom. Yeah, it's mostly the TY that will fix a lot. I think at the end that is a bit much. It feels like you have a really bent over. So in the side view he will be like this. And then it's almost like into that. So it feels like that change in the spine is a bit too much. Right there at the end. This makes him very rubbery. <clears throat> you want to keep this a bit more solid. I think it adds to the whole rubbery bouncy feel with the TY here and the change at the end. Now with the audio, let's play this here to extend my cuts. Yeah, well, can I come anyway? No! <laughs> right now, and this is a common thing with lip sync, you want to make sure that the words are really, they have to feel like they come out of the chest and that the head is affected by those words. By that I mean... Oh, well, can I come anyway? No! Actually, I don't even know what he says here. That's my ESL at this point. At this point, I don't know what he says. Can I quit anyway? No! Can I something, committee, quitty, whatever he's saying here. But it's... When he says that word, you might have a bit more of an up and a sideways rotation in the head. So it doesn't feel like it's all in the body. And then you just add lip sync to it. It needs to affect in terms of how, you know, big jaw moves are going to affect the rotation of the head. Can I come anyway? No! Can I? No! You have it a bit in here. Oh! Can I? No! That's not too bad. Can I? So you have it a little down in the nose and up, but it could have an ever so slight move to the left. So it could, it's not just in here, but it has a slight rotation this way. No! 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 Hey, you owe me! Oh, well. Press is good Can I come like anyway? No! Can I? No! Some changes there. This, I don't mind not being in there because he's really more pleading and it's a bit more focused and you will be much more still and that stuff is cool at the end that's what I mean like little rotations changes like that stuff I just be careful in how harsh they are it feels like he rotates over counterclockwise boom and then it, that rotation just stops on a linear key Let's go back to the legs here. Also, that knee is a bit dirty. Much how how much it goes up and down. So just the foot roll and stuff like that, and the feet is probably one of the bigger comments. The bounciness would be on the same level. Yeah, and just how how dirty it is at the end. So like I said, so the rotation kind of stops so quickly with this foot going boop, and then moving to the right. 
and how much bendage you have there in the chest because it's kind of a rough feel. That's pretty much it. Um, let's see. Let's go one more time for the audio. Yeah, well, can I come? So, apart from asymmetry. Hold on. Same thing here. It's, it's quick time, it's a bit. Depending on where you click, it's going to change my in and out points. It's a bit funky. So, anything you can do to send these guys as uh, separate movie files. Well, can I come anyway? No. Can I? No. 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 I think the kid. That amount is okay, but you have a lot of it in here as well. So, I would probably reduce how much the corners go out just for more contrast. So, it's like that feels fairly similar to that. See how much that's here. 38, 71, right? So I would reduce that so that this stands out a bit more. Uh, even then, I'd probably reduce the jaw just a bit, go up a bit higher. It's a bit too big. Oh, well, can well, I quit? I think this could be more of an O shape a little bit. a bit more like just corners in and then kind of a lippy kissy thing here. Oh, can I come anyway? No! And I think for this one it's going to be a big thing there, the uh, asymmetry. It's how much you're going to favor a corner. And I think with this and the accent and everything, I think you can really get away with a massive offset here in terms of asymmetry. Oh well, can I come anyway? No! Can I? No! 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 Hey, you owe me! That's cool. Oh well. Wait, no! Kinda. No! 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 Hey, you owe me! And the hey is a bit too big. It goes almost back into the beginning territory. So I just reduce that and bring the jaw up a bit more. It's a bit more subdued at this point. I think in the language. No! No! Hey, you owe me! Hey, you owe me. Hey, it's, it's for. Definitely to close this guy a bit more and go a bit higher but not as far and this got a lot more in so again the offset is gonna asymmetry is gonna help a lot you owe me oh well can i come anyway no can I? no 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 hey you owe me yeah it's oh, cool well. the rest on the face is cool i think the blinks are a bit too fast let me step through this here Just this part, how far you go from here to here. I would add at least one more kind of through here to soften that. And then watch how much your brows go down once the lids are closed. Like this almost feels like a close, but then you have this massive shape clamping down. This feels a bit much. So I can reduce the amount of um, down on the brows. It feels like it's a massive chunk of geometry going down and the bones. No! 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 no. Yeah, it just feels like suddenly his head collapses. No! Hey, you owe me! Yeah, that's Help. fine. Yeah, that's about it. Um, and in terms of your ultimate vanilla cycle presentation, that can work. Just for the sake of not being so stereotypical where it's a, a guy checking out a, a woman, you know, you could switch it up. It could be a guy walking and a girl is looking at him. Why not? Also helps not always be the uh, the woman as the objectified character. Um, three quarter view, yeah, but that's kind of neat. Always good to have a little bit of a twist and a variation on the cycle, so it's not so cycly. Um, ogre, that's totally fine too. If you want to use an ogre, that's cool. Switching those rigs, yeah. <laughs> and I sold you on ditching the music thing. All right. So that is pretty much it. So yeah, hope this is all helpful. Um, if you send that amount of shots, the review is going to be longer. Um, I can't always promise to get to it uh, on the same day if they're that long. Um, so you can always send, if you want a bit of a more of a speedy response, it could be just the cycles and we save um, 
that for the next submission to kind of offset so while you wait on this guy you would work on the cycles while you wait for the cycles you work on this guy uh, or if you don't mind I could you know a day longer on the feedback cycle uh, I can do it all at once alrighty but the main thing would be if possible to send these guys without title cards uh, and separate quick time files and you wouldn't be you know like here a couple cycles and then you know a couple seconds of this of the loop cycle alrighty thanks all right there's an email you can sign up you can start whenever you want you can submit whatever you want you get 16 submissions either way a like and subscribe would be awesome all right thank you